For this challenge, we need to read in the temperature of water in a container in centigrade and display a message stating whether the water is frozen, if the temperature is zero or below, boiling, if it's 100 or greater, or neither. So, this is quite similar to the underage challenge, but there's uh, one extra little uh, trick which we'll get to in a minute. So let's start off by getting the input. Let's just put a comment for that. Uh, get user input. And then we will, uh, let's have a variable called water temperature. Or we'll just call it water temp, shall we? Um, equals uh, input. And we're going to ask the question again. Uh, so let's say, what is the temperature and if uh, this looks weird have a look back at the underage challenge video see why we're doing this um, I'm going to put int around my question to convert the answer from a string into an integer okay so now we'll have the temperature stored in the water temperature variable and then we need to check uh, what state the water is in. This is my little comment to say what we're doing. And uh, let's start off by checking if it's ice. So if we say if uh, water temp is less than or equal to zero, and then we put the colon and we indent. And it doesn't say what message we have to put, so I'm just going to say ice. That's my message. Um, and if it isn't, oh, let's just un, un indent, out dent. Um, we say else, and then I'm just going to put uh, not ice for now. Let's just check that works. So I run, and if I say the temperature is 23, it says not ice. And if I say the temperature is minus 6, it says ice. And let's just double check. But it does also work if we say it's exactly zero and it also says it's ice because we've said less than or equal to zero for an ice. For anything other than less than or equal to zero, it's going to say not ice. Okay, so we're halfway there, but we want it to also tell us if the water is boiling. So uh, in here, instead of just saying not ice, we want to divide this into two categories. So let's put another if statement and we'll say if water temp is greater than or equal to 100, now we can say, oops, I have to um, we can say print uh, steam. And now we can put in our else statement. Well, we know it's not ice, it's not steam, so all that leaves is water. So we will say, Let's say liquid water, just to be clear. Right, and now we run that. And if I pick a temperature that's below zero, let's say minus five, below or equal to zero, it says ice. Let's run it again, and I'll pick a temperature that's higher, let's say 200. And now it says steam, because it fails this test here. It isn't less than or equal to zero, so it goes to the else, and then uh, it checks, is the water temperature greater than or equal to 100? Yes, it is, so it prints steam. And then let's run it one more time, and I'm going to pick a temperature, uh, let's say 35. And now it's going to say, is it less than or equal to zero? No, nope, so it's going to skip over that. So now we're in the else section, and the first statement in the else section is this if statement that says, is the water temperature greater than or equal to 100. That's also not true, so it skips over that into this next else statement, and then it just prints liquid water. So let's just check that works. Yes. Okay, so we've solved the challenge by putting one if statement inside the else block of another if statement. That's called a nested if, but there is actually a slightly neater uh, way of doing this in Python. Uh, we can combine this else and the if into a single statement called elif. If we say elif uh, water temp is greater than or equal to 100, that's exactly the same as saying else if. It just saves you having to do 
an extra chunk of indenting. So now we can bring these indents back to match the, uh, the original if statement. So they're all lined up nicely. And let's just check it runs. And so let's do the same numbers again. What did I say? Minus 5 is ice. And 200 is steam. And 35 is water. And it's worth remembering that you, Python does care about the indents. So if I uh, left it indented how we had it before, like this, when we converted it to the elif, this I don't think will work. No, you see, we get an error because our indents don't line up. So now we're going if, elif, else. We have to make sure that the else lines up with the if and the elif and our other statements line up with the indented block. But apart from that, it works exactly the same as just using two if statements.